guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Kiara and in today's video I'm going to show you how I curl my hair using one hand. So for those of you who don't know, I had a stroke when I was 2 and 10 months which resulted in right side hemiplegia and I have done day to day tasks using, my one, one, using one hand for the last 20 years. So if you want to watch a full video about my disability I will link it here and down below. So I'm going to show you how I curl my hair use, using one hand. So the things you will need is a curling wand or an iron curler with a clip, some hairpins and some hair ties, a hairbrush, and if you want some hairspray to hold your hair in place once you've curled your hair. So now let me show you how I curl my hair using one hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I get all my hair, actually no, I'm going to brush my hair. So, I'm just going to brush my hair, I have actually already brushed it, so I'm just going to brush my hair. And then, I'm going to make sure I get all my hair on my shoulders. Like this. Then I'm going to section my hair, so I'm going to take this top bit, I'm going to start this out, I'm going to take this top bit, and I'm just going to twist it like this. And then I'm going to take a hair band and I'm just going to put it through the hair, just like that, just so it's out of the way, it doesn't really matter how it looks then. I'm going to take this section of my hair and just hold it in my mouth, because I have nowhere else to put it. Then I'm going to put this bit behind me and then I'm going to take this section of my hair and I'm going to take my curling wand and I'm going to go about halfway up my hair to about there and clip it and I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to twirl it towards my face trying not to burn myself and I'm probably going to leave it for about 10 seconds this is why it is very annoying, I need to sort it out so then I'm just going to let it out and I guess this is my first curl. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's at the back so it doesn't really matter how it looks. And then I'm going to take a bobby pin and then I'm just going to put a bobby pin through the middle of the curl so it like makes it last a bit longer because my hair literally has a tendency to fall out. Then I'm going to take this bit of my hair and just hold it in my mouth again and then I think this section is a bit too big to curl by its as one, so I'm going to take this bit and put it behind me again and take this section and again I'm just going to take my iron curler and put it there, twisting it down my hair and then curling it towards my face and again I'm going to leave it for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm just going to take this bit. Don't worry, the black bit on the end isn't hot. It's a metal one. Then I'm going to take another boy pin. And I'm just going to pin my hair like this. And then we're going to take this section now. And just put it behind us. And we're just going to take all of this hair section. And we're going to do the same. This I can do in one. It's going to be quite a large curl, but I'll still do it in one. I'm going to hold it for a bit longer because I kind of want quite large curls. I might hold it this way actually. Instead. Let's hold it this way. Then let's see now. There you go, there's another curl. Right, and then, again, I'm just going to scrunch it. Just, you could scrunch it, but it may not stay. And then I'm going to take another bobby pin and put it in my hair, because my hair, my hair's, I've just washed it, and it literally won't stay. Because my hair's just like that, it just doesn't stay. Tiny ponytail doesn't stay. Anyway, so, I'm going to do this side now. And I'm going to, again, separate it from the top, so I'm going to take about this much hair. And I'm going to twist it, I'm going to do it like this, and then I'm actually going to take a hairpin 
just to show you that you could do it with a hairpin or a hairband, it doesn't really matter. You might need a couple of hairbands though. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this side. Apparently I don't have all my hair on my shoulders. And I'm just going to brush my hair again. And then I'm going to put this bit in my mouth again because I have nowhere else to put it. And I'm going to throw that bit behind me. And I'm going to take this bit. Hold on, there's a hair in my mouth. The pearls of having one hand. And then I'm just going to curl it. I'm going to curl it from here because I don't want to burn myself. Again, you have to be really careful so that you don't burn yourself. And then you just curl it upwards. Clip it and curl it. Then you hold it for about maybe like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And then that's another curl. And then again, I'm going to put a bobby pin in my hair. Just like that. And then now I'm going to put this in my mouth again, throw that curl behind you. This I think I might try and do in one section. I don't know if it's really going to work. We'll see. Mm, we'll try. Again, I'm going to clamp it from here. And then I'm going to take it and curl it. See if that didn't work, so I have to recurl that for that sign. And I'm just going to curl it inwards towards my face, again, trying not to burn myself. I'm just going to hold it for like 10 seconds. And just hold it like that. And then I'm just going to put another boy pin in and but behind me, hold on, I need to have a drink. Okay, cool, okay. Now I'm going to do this tiny bit of hair because I missed it. Because my clamp didn't take it. So I'm just going to take it from here again. I'm being super careful not to burn my neck. Or my chin. Just like that. And then again, take another bobby pin, put it in your hair. Like that. I'm just going to throw it behind me. How's this bit? That bit looks okay. I might just put another bobby pin in. Just so it stays. Okay, then I'm going to do this side now. I'm just going to take this down here. And then I'm going to hold this bit in my mouth. Just making sure it's all behind my head so I don't get my hair I've already curled. I'm just going to brush it. And I won't be able to do this all in one section. So what I'm going to do, take this little front bit. And I'm just going to curl it, just twist it. Not curl it, twist it. And then take this bit. of Take my hair tie. And just put it on top of my head like like this? No, not like this. We're gonna have to redo it because it didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work because my hair is very shiny because I washed it, like I said. So it's super shiny so it won't always stay. Oh, this is, this is literally hard work. Okay, so <laughs> let's try again. Third time lucky. Stay, please stay. Okay, hair tie, hair tie. Okay, done. Okay, don't put out your curls either. Okay, so this bit here, so I'm gonna brush it. I might do this in one. Apparently, I want large curls now. And then I'm just gonna take it from here, clip it, take it down. Take it down. And I'm just going to curl it upwards like this. Take <laughs> You get a bit stuck because you shake it. Like this. I'm going to have to redo this then. Let's 
let's see how this curl looks. I don't think that's my next one. Oh, actually, that's quite good. And then again, I'm going to take my bobby pin and just... Actually, I might redo it. No, let's redo it. Okay. I'm not happy with it. Okay, so... Let's now see if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced. The concentration on my face while I do this. And obviously again, try not to burn your face. Like, be very careful around your face because you don't want to burn your face. Um, I would hold it for about 10. I'm going to hold it for like 20 seconds. Just because... I have quite a lot of hair wrapped in it because I genuinely have a lot of hair anyway. Mm. Okay, this isn't working. We're gonna start all over again. Well, not all over again. We're gonna start this piece all over again. And sometimes this happens, you know, you like have to do it again. So I'm gonna do this bit first. And you probably shouldn't really do this to your hair, but do you know what? I'm sorry. I'm doing it to my hair. But my hair is very thick and at the moment very shiny. Like I said, because I washed it. There you go, that's the colour we wanted. And then again, I'm going to take my bow pin, put it in there, then I'm going to take this bit. Just gonna hold it in my mouth again. Uh -huh. Put that behind me. Again, just take it and just cut it towards the face like this. Okay, it's quite a good curl. I could walk. Then I'm just going to put that behind me. Then I'm going to take this bit here. I'm going to take out my hair tie. And I'm just going to, again, curl it, curl it, brush it. That was me brushing her. <laughs> Get it right, Kara. Then I don't think this is going to, I don't know, I might be able to do this with one. I say that and it will go wrong like the last bit. Let's see. Be so careful here because you're very close to your chin. I'm going to take it to about there and then I'm going to take it down. Again, you want to be super careful because you're very close to your facial features here. That's going to be too much hair and not going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to put that over there, which I really don't think is going to stay. I know it's not going to stay, so I'm going to take a pin and I'm just going to pin it like that. This is such a good look. And then I'm going to take this bit of hair, curl it downwards, and just like that. And just hold it for like 10, 15 seconds. However long you really want to hold it for. Look, that's such a cute curl. And then I'm just going to take another boy pen again and just put it through the curl like this and just leave it like that then this bit of hair here again I'm brushing it and then I'm just going to take the, I'm just going to make sure that bit's behind me this bit's going to be tricky because we're very close to your face so be super careful when you do this bit what I'm going to do take it here and then I'm just going to literally curl it down. I'm literally going to curl it outwards like this. This I'm going to have to hold for such a long time because my hair is really thick. If you have thinner hair, hair you, if you have thinner hair, you probably won't have to, but my hair is really thick. So I have to hold it for quite a long time.
And let's see, let's scrunch it. Uh, might work. Let's see. Again, I'm just putting a pin just so like just so it stays. Well, not so it stays. So it. Well, yeah. So my car stays for longer. Okay. So this side. Now I'm going to take out all these pins. I thought I had a hair tie in, but I forgot. So this side here. What I'm going to do is now sometimes it's in a tangle, so it depends. Maybe a hair tie is better because now I've got a knot here. If you can see, I'm gonna have to brush it out. But my hair does get quite knotty. Again, because it's so big. So, just making sure that all my other hairs that I have I've already curled is behind my head. And then I'm just going to take this section again and just put it like this on top of my head. We're just gonna like. We're just going to have it like that for now. It's like a little crown. Such a good look. Then I'm going to take this bit, take it down, curl it towards my head. And I'm just going to take it out. And that's my curl. And then, you see, I'm going to put another bobby pin in to hold the hair for longer. Then now we've got this bit to do. Okay. This bit I think I'm going to do in one because this bit's going to be quite large. So I'm doing small and large sections, I guess. It depends on really how you colour you want your hair to be and everything. And then again, I'm just going to put another bobby pin through there. And I'm just going to wait. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I've got all my hair, which I think I have. And I'm just going to start taking my bobby pins out at the bottom. So like, yeah, actually, I missed a bit. So I'm going to do this bit quickly. Just quickly. And then I will start taking my bobby pins out at the bottom of my hair. this bit I'm probably not gonna put a bobby pin in so I'm just gonna scrunch it like this because I'm gonna take them all out now so I mean you could leave them in longer but I'm just showing you how I would curl my hair so sometimes I leave them in if I want it like super curly I might leave it in for like 10 minutes and go and do something but I'm just showing you how I curl my hair so for now we would take them out so just find where you've got a bobby pin and take it out I mean, you don't have to put the bobby pins in, it's just, like I said, my hair likes to fall out. So, yeah. Then, again, taking this side. Try not to pull your hair, because otherwise your car will fall out. So you want to get the bobby pin out. I think that's it and then now I'm going to start on this side so the top bits like I'm going to do this side first because I did that side last so I had an itchy eyebrow that and then I guess if you wanted you could add a bit more curls so I'm gonna add a curl actually here 
because it's not overly curly so I'm just going to add some curls in here so I'm just going to go like this and this is quite hard to do because then you get like all the other bits of hair so this is why you would separate it but unless if you wanted more curls You could just possibly go like that. More in here. And then, now what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put hairspray in my hair. Just because, like I said, my hair falls out. So I'm just going to take my hairspray and I'm just going to spray it here and like under here. And then I'm just going to scrunch it like this. I'm just going to like this. Oh, there's another boy pin in my hair. See, sometimes you just find one in your hair. There you go. And then... I'm just going to brush the top of my hair to get my hair flat at the top. And that's how I curl my hair using one hand. Thank you for watching my video on how I curl my hair. If you did enjoy, please like and comment. And if you want to see more of me, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.